Our topic will be about the elimination of arbitrary constants. So, sa topic natin na to, we are going to eliminate, as it, uh, as it says, we are going to eliminate the arbitrary constants in the equations wherein we have to find the differential equations na wala nang makikitang constant variables. So, for example, x cubed minus 3x squared y is equal to c. So, in this equation, we have to eliminate c. So, yung first main step natin to eliminate constant variables is by differentiating. So, kung i-differentiate natin yung equation natin, we have 3x squared dx for the x cubed, yung di differential ng x cubed is 3x squared dx minus 3x squared dy 3x squared, then derivative of the second term, which is dy. Then, minus 6xy dx, derivative of the first term. 3 times 2 is 6, then x. Then, y, copy ang y, then dx is equal to 0. So, wala na tayong constant variable. So, the next step is, of course, we have to divide the equation by the common factor 3x to simplify the equation. So, dividing all terms by 3x, that results to x dx minus x dy minus 2y dx is equal to 0. Next is to combine like terms. Okay, combine lang natin yung dx, dx sa dx, then dy sa dy in a parenthesis. So, x minus 2y times dx minus x dy is equal to 0. So, this is our final differential equation. So, wala na tayong makikita ang constant variable dyan. The next example, y sin x minus x y squared is equal to c. So, of course, we have to eliminate again the c or the constant variable c. The first is to differentiate again. Yung first term natin is dalawang terms, y then sin x, dalawang terms din yung ating second term. Okay? So, differentiating, that is y, cos x dx, since ang differential ng sin x is cos dx, uh, cos x dx, plus sin x, the second term, then, uh, differential ng y is dy, minus y squared dx, minus 2xy dy, since ang differential ng y squared is 2y dy, then times x, that is equal to 0 since differential of c is 0. Then, we have to combine like terms. Okay, sa isang parenthesis lahat ng dx, sa isang parenthesis lahat ng dy. Okay, then we have to simplify the equation since yung first term natin may common siya na y sa dalawang term. So, we have to factor out y. So, this is our resulting differential Equation y times cos x minus y times dx plus sin x minus 2xy dy is equal to 0. Our third example is x minus a squared plus y squared is equal to a squared. So here, ang constant variable na i-eliminate natin is yung a. So yung first step natin is to expand the factor term. We have to expand this one. Para mas makita natin yung values ng i-eliminate natin na constant variable which is a. So, factored, uh, I mean expanded term is x squared minus 2ax plus a squared plus y squared is equal to a squared. Then, we have to simplify the equation, cancel out the, uh, yung parehong terms natin, the a squared, kasi that results to zero. Then, yung matitira is x squared minus 2ax plus y squared is equal to 0. Then, we have to move the term with constant a from left side of the equation to the right side. That is, x squared plus y squared is equal to 2ax. Then, kailangan talaga nating i-integrate yung constant variable 2a natin kasi may kasama pa siyang x variable which is not a constant. So, we have to divide both sides of the equation by x. So, that results to x squared plus y squared over x is equal to 2a. Dito, we are now going to differentiate the equation. 
So using the division rule in the differential calculus, V du minus U dv over V squared. Yung U is the numerator and the V is the denominator. So V is x, then differential of the numerator, that is 2x dx plus 2y dy minus the numerator U, x squared plus y squared, then the differential of the V, that is dx over v squared or yung denominator squared natin x squared that is equal to 0 so wala na tayong makikitang con constant variable sa equation natin na to. so we have to simplify it by cross multiplying x squared to 0 then we have to expand the equation so yung matitira sa equation is 2x squared dx plus 2xy dy since then distribute natin yung x sa dalawa minus x squared dx plus uh, minus y squared dx distributive property then for dx then combine like terms we have to combine 2x squared dx minus x squared dx so that results to x squared dx na lang minus y squared dx plus 2xy dy is equal to 0 then we have to separate dx and dy then, x squared minus y squared times dx plus 2xy, dy is equal to 0. That is our differential equation. Next example, cxy plus c squared x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, here we have to eliminate again the constant c. So, differentiate natin. cx dy, since the long term, x and y. cx, then the derivative of y is dy plus cy derivative of x is dx plus c squared derivative of x is dx plus 4 which is 0 na siya. So that is equal to 0. Then next, we have to divide the equation by the common factor c para matanggal natin yung c. Okay? Kasi common siya sa lahat ng terms. Then that results to x dy plus y dx plus c dx. So may isa pa tayong kailangang i-eliminate na constant. So, we have to divide the equation by dx to have y prime. So, para matanggal yung kasama ng constant natin na dx, we have to divide the equation by dx. Okay, so that results to x y prime since dy over dx is y prime plus y dx over dx is y na lang plus c since dinivide natin yung lahat ng terms by dx. Then, we have to find for the value of c. So, C is equal to negative xy prime minus y. Then, substitute the value of C to the original equation. Okay, balik tayo sa first equation natin, yung given equation, Cxy plus C squared x plus 4 is equal to 0. Then, we have to substitute the value of C, yung nakuha nating value ng C dito, which is negative xy prime minus y. Sa so, substitute natin sa original equation. Okay. So, negative xy prime minus y times xy, ito yung c natin, plus c squared. Yung value ng c natin dito is squared natin siya, times x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, next is to expand the equation. So, distribute natin lahat ng terms natin sa labas ng parenthesis into all terms within the parenthesis. And, para sa term na to, we have to expand this. So, distributing xy to the two terms, that results to negative x squared y, y prime minus x, y squared plus x squared y prime squared plus 2x y, y prime plus y squared expanded form nito. Then, quantity multiplied to x plus 4 is equal to 0. Then, distribute natin yung x sa tatlong terms na na-expand natin dito. So, that results to x cubed na, okay, kasi times x tayo, plus 2x squared na, y, y prime plus x, y squared plus 4. Then, we have to combine like terms. Then, Cancel out natin yung xy squared kasi negative yung isa, positive yung isa. So, that results to 0. 
Then combining 2x squared yy prime to negative x squared yy prime kasi pareha sila lahat ng variables. So yung resulting equation natin, x cubed y prime squared, ito, plus yung combined result na x squared yy prime plus our constant number 4 is equal to 0. So that is our differential equation. Our last example, y is equal to c1 e raised to negative 2x plus c2 e raised to negative 3x. So our first step is to differentiate since two constant are to be eliminated, obtain two derivatives. So kung dalawang constant variable yung dapat nating tanggalin sa equation na magkaiba, okay, so we have to differentiate it twice. So the first Derivative, which is y prime, they derive natin yung lahat ng terms. This results to negative 2 c1 e raised to negative 2x e raised to u times the derivative of u or yung exponent natin. Then the derivative of our exponent is negative 2, so that is negative 2, plus 3 c2 e raised to 3x. Since derivative of 3x is 3. Okay. Then y double prime, that results to 4, c1 e raised to negative 2x plus 9, c2 e raised to 3x. So these three equations, kailangan nating i-label. So next, we have to combine equations 2 and 3, multiplying 2 to equation 2. So kailangan nating multiply ng 2, yung ating equation 2, in order to eliminate this c1 e raised to negative 2x. So, that results to 2y prime equal to negative 4 c1 e raised to negative 2x plus 6 c2 e 3x. Kasi minultiply natin ng 2 yung second equation natin. Then, we have to combine the equation 3 and the resulting equation 2. Okay, so i-add lang natin para makancel out natin yung variable na c1 e, c1 e raised to negative 2x. So, this equations, kung i-add natin, results to 2y prime plus y double prime is equal to 15 c2 e raised to 3x. Okay, so this is our equation 4. Next is to combine equations 1 and 2. So, yung equation 1 naman and 2 yung ating combine. But, multiplying 2 to our equation 1. So, our equation 1 results to 2y is equal to 2c1e raised to negative 2x plus 2c2e raised to 3x. Since yung equation 1 natin, kailangan natin multiply ng 2. Then, copy the equation 2. Okay, para ma-eliminate natin itong c1 e raised to negative 2x. Kung ano yung in-eliminate ko dito, okay, na variable sa first step, kailangan ganun din yung i-eliminate ko sa second. Elimination method. Okay? So, adding these two equations and canceling out 2c1 e raised to negative 2x. So, these equations, the sum of this equation will result to 2y plus y prime is equal to 5c2 e raised to 3x. Okay, so in order to find for the value of c2 e raised to 3x, we have to divide the equation by 5. So c2 e raised to 3x is equal to 2y plus y prime over 5. Okay, so this is our equation 5. And next, we have to combine the equations 4 and 5. Yung nagawa na nating equations 4 and 5 natin. Combine natin using the value of c2 e raised to 3x using the substitution method in algebra. Okay, so yung value ng c2 e raised to 3x is a substitute natin sa equation 4. Okay, so that is 2y plus y 2y prime plus y double prime is equal to 15 times ito. 2y plus y prime over 5. And 
Simplifying the equation, that results to 2y prime plus y double prime equal to 3 times 2y plus y prime. Then, simplifying again, distribute natin yung 3 sa dalawang terms. That results to 6y plus 3y prime. Then, combine like terms, combine natin yung 2y prime tsaka 3y prime. That is, this equation will result 2y double prime minus y prime minus 6y is equal to 0. And this is our differential equation. So, if you have any questions, just comment down in our discussion section in our Schoology. And for our next topic, that will be all about variable separable as the first solution of first order differential equation.